What's going on guys? Today I've got something new, a gator. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is get this bottom jaw separated and all this meat cut out of the jaw bone. Okay, I got him taken apart and all the meat I can get cut off. Now, he did do another shot in the back of the head. And you can kind of see here, it broke the skull. So, we're gonna have to be gentle with it and just see what we can, what we can come up with when we're done. Drop him into boil now. We're gonna let him simmer until he hits a boil. Just kind of have to eyeball it when that skin can start peeling off. I think we're gonna pull him out and pressure wash him. All right, this thing will start to simmer. I'm gonna take out the bottom jaw first since it's a little more delicate. We're gonna pressure wash with the fan nozzle. I do not want to overboil this thing, especially with all these little bitty teeth in here. Got to try to keep track of all of them. So we're gonna start on this. I'm probably gonna pull out the top of the skull too, just so I don't overboil it. pressure wash these teeth, hit them from the side, not the top, so you don't blow quite as many of them out. All right, I've pretty well got this jaw done. I gotta turn the power up and get down into this cavity here. But uh, then the teeth came out, the jaws did come apart, not a big deal. So we're gonna finish him up, finish the other jaw, and then start on the top part of the school. come apart but they'll go back together fairly easily all the teeth stayed in got to focus they're fairly clean the whitening mix is just kind of the standard what you everybody uses seems like uh, this is 32 percent hydrogen peroxide I get it from a, a feed store basically uh, two gallons of that to however much water I need so I'm gonna drop these in. It's starting to get warm already, and then I'll let it come to a boil and pull them out. Since this gator was shot in the head, he's kind of messed up, as you can see. The side here blown apart. Here's all the pieces I could get. I'm gonna drop the main part in and then take the strainer drop these little parts in and drop them in the white mix too so everything gets done then we're gonna have to put the pieces back together as best we can when we're done all right it hit a boil I'm gonna pull them out now we're gonna pressure wash you with the fan nozzle I've got these little pieces from being headshot that you know came apart. So we'll 
the damn plate. Here's the peroxide I use. There's two gallons of this mixed in with that water. It'll focus. There it is. That's the peroxide I use. All right, we're going to hit these with the fan nozzle one more time to get in anything that we missed. Anything we missed the first time, which I know there's some on there, especially in between the teeth. That peroxide turns it to like a gel almost. It'll come off way easier. I'm gonna do that with the 40 degree nozzle, the white uh, point on the pressure washer. And then we'll let him dry in front of a fan probably. And then glue him back together. All right. I went ahead and glued everything I could glue and to find, you know, find a place where each piece of bone went. I glued everything together I could. It's not perfect, but working with what I had, you know, there's a big hole here, you can see, and a little one here. But the front is not too bad. None of the teeth came out. We've got the jaw bones glued back together. I'm getting ready to mop and glow it. Let it dry, and it'll be done. Alright guys, I've got the gator skull done. It was a pretty neat experience. Got to learn a lot. Really enjoyed it. Very, very neat critters. So I mounted this one with the jaws partially open, as you can tell. And I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to do that at first. What I ended up doing was running uh, the drill bit down into here, up into here, and then putting a screw in it, cutting the head of the screw off, sliding it over that. <clears throat> And then uh, you could glue it. This is tight enough for me without the glue. So uh, that's how I got the jaws to stay open like that. And then uh, none of the teeth came loose. They're all there. He turned out pretty good, I think. So that's it for this one, guys. I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you on the next one.